Scenes of joy on the streets of Gabon after the military announced they have seized power and put the president under house arrest. In an overnight televised announcement filmed in the presidential palace, about a dozen senior officers declared the borders are closed and state institutions are dissolved. All officers who claim they represent all Gabonese security and defense forces say they have decided to defend peace by putting an end to the current regime. The takeover comes minutes after the election results were announced, claiming President Ali Bongo had been re-elected for a third term, despite opposition complaints of fraud. Bongo, whose family have ruled the country for 56 years, came into power in 2009, following the death of his father. Hundreds of people took to the streets of the capital to celebrate in the morning following the overnight announcement, many holding flags and chanting as military vehicles drove by. We are free. We have the right to be free and to express ourselves the way we want, says this one resident out celebrating among the crowd. In a meeting in Spain, European Union defense ministers gathered to discuss the situation in Gabon saying this could bring more instability to the region. Look, the whole area, starting with Central African Republic, then Mali, then uh, Burkina Faso, now uh, Niger, maybe Gabon, it's in a very difficult situation. And certainly the ministers, today defense ministers and tomorrow foreign affairs ministers, have to have a deep thought on what is going on there and how we can improve our policy in respect to these countries. This is a big issue for Europe. The now detained president appeared in a video appealing for help from the international community. Now, if successful, the coup will be the eighth in West and Central Africa since 2020. Melissa Nakavali, City News.